going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We are back. Dark Sector. Continuing. Chapter 3. This should be... Final of Chapter 3 today. Baggage claim. After throwing the glaive, press and hold C again and use it to adjust the flight of the glaive. So once again, we get some more stuff that we can do with our glaive. Alright, this first part's gonna get a little bit crazy and hectic. It is not a part of what I am. Well, maybe it is. If I remember this part correctly, it is going to get crazy here for the next few minutes. So just bear with me. And there's only one version for the PC. I know on the consoles they used they had like different difficulty versions. On here, it's kind of like one set version. Somewhere in the middle. Try to do this without dying. I gotta watch for the heavy to come up the door, up the stairs over there, because he will show up. I know you guys have asked me. Well, I've had a couple of you guys like Bacon ask me. Uh, use the glaive a lot so I'm trying to remember to use the glaive a lot horrible the gunfire is crazy Right. Oh, I got two. That was a double shot. It was like a bounce. Oh, I missed. Every time you see them glow red, you're able to do a finisher move on them, but obviously I'm too far away to do a finisher move in this case. There he is. I hate these damn heavies. These shields. These guys never die. Of course, my pistol doesn't do that much damage, right? Die already, Jesus! Okay. Uh, that's an odd way. Let's grab one of their weapons here. We hear it beeping in a minute, then I gotta throw it down like that. That means it's gonna explode in a minute. Just throw him overboard. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, what do we got left? One, two. There's another guy coming in the background. We just got that one guy left. Yeah, maybe. Is that it? Did I get them all? And I didn't die. Nice. Just have a look around. I know there's a couple places we can go down. There we go, there's one spot. So we just want to make sure that we grab what we need. Their weapons are useless. 
I think there's some money or some. Yeah, there's some money, some cash. Uh, and then there is. Aha! Clip extender! Yay! I think there's one more spot over here we can go down as well, and there's something in there. I think it's just ammo, but I don't remember. More cash and ammo. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's go use this glaive's new feature to unlock the gate here. I gotta hit that red mark. Actually, more ammo. Alright, let's see if I can do this without screwing up too many times. So basically we throw it and then we can target it. One fail. I did it too early. Let me move a little closer here. There we go. And on to the cutscene. <coughs> Lower your weapons, Solnishka. Yargo, you've got something for me? I do. I have you updated orders from the AD. I have also arranged for you to acquire weapons and explosives. No, thanks. You don't want to take it, but you don't have choice. <coughs> this will slow your infection. It will buy you time. Show me what you've got. Your harbor explosion has released the infected Mesner had captured. We believe Mesner has planned to collect them, bring them into the open, so his Lesdrian thugs can capture them. He had Viktor Sudek repair old Soviet ULF transmitter. These transmitters were used in the 80s to draw in the infected. <gasps> like moths to a flame. <coughs> Nadia. Are you paying attention? This transmitter is hidden in an old bunker inside the Lesdrian catacombs. You will enter via church. You are to disrupt Mesna's operation by destroying transmitter. Take the sat phone. How am I going to destroy the transmitter? Take this to the underground. They'll give you the explosives you need. Guns too, without the governors on them. If price is right. But even as world drowns, rats will swim. I hope you won't find the sewers unpleasant. <laughs> All right. A little more information there. Oops. Go. Let's grab some more ammo. I think we just need to get out of here and then we're out on uh, this is the end of chapter 3 and then over to chapter 4 in the next episode. Or at least part of chapter 4. Some of these chapters, like I said, are going to get longer. So they're going to be a couple episodes. I'll try to keep them down to a decent size so that way they're not too much to uh, watch for you guys. It's nice and clean down here in the cellar, huh? Well, as always, if you have any comments or questions, you know, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you soon.